This is a memory palace for learning French vocabulary, specifically basic terms for animals. The space is divided into different areas for different kinds of animals. Let me show you around so you can see how this works. In this large room in the middle, we have common mammals and pets, like cat and dog and mouse. In the adjacent room, we have common farm animals, such as horse and cow. To the left, we have rooms for pet-related vocabulary and veterinary medicine. We then have a room for reptiles and amphibians, a room for fish, a room for birds, and a room for insects. To learn the vocabulary within each room, you want to create a mnemonic image for each word in French, then place the image on the relevant instructor spot. For example, for the word chat, I think of a chatbot. To connect the meaning to this mnemonic, let's imagine that this chatbot has the avatar of a cat. In this case, I have used the spelling rather than the sound to generate the mnemonic. In French, you can figure out the pronunciation from the spelling, but you cannot necessarily arrive at the spelling from the pronunciation. You can, however, also use the sound to generate mnemonics. For example, for chien, I'm going to use Charlie Sheen. Sometimes the word in French is close enough to the English that you can actually just use the English animal name as your mnemonic. So for the French éléphant, we can use an elephant. My mnemonic for an acute accent is a sword, so I have added two swords to remind me that while effectively the same word in French, éléphant, has two acute accents. Once you have created your mnemonics, you want to connect them together with some kind of story. This is also where you can add information about the meaning of these mnemonics. When you create mnemonics for foreign language vocabulary, the most important thing is being able to get back to the sound or spelling of the original word. Sometimes you can combine the sound or spelling with the meaning directly, as in our example of the chatbot cat. If that's not possible, remembering the meaning can be achieved through a combination of location and story. We know, for example, that every mnemonic in this room will represent not only an animal, but also a common mammal or pet. We can then add more specifics through the story. One day, a chatbot with a cat avatar got into a Twitter war with Charlie Sheen. But it turned out that Charlie Sheen was not actually the actor, but the name of a dog chatbot. The Twitter war then escalated into a real war, and the elephants attacked on land, swinging their swords, while the dwarves, led by their king Balin, attacked from the sea riding whales. The giraffes, who normally sided with the elephants, fought on the side of the whales because they had been poisoned by sour rice they'd been given by a mouse. The mouse had used rat poison in the rice. The sour rice caused the giraffes to go insane. Eventually, they went so insane they got startled by the rabbits coming out of their warrens and started running laps around the battlefield, causing so much confusion everything just evolved into chaos. Eventually, Nick Fury, riding an enormous ferret, led the Avengers into battle to re-establish peace. After the battle, they all shared a feast, and the hamsters, using their wheels, rolled into the party a great platter of cooked guinea pigs. This is just an example. It will be more effective if you create your own mnemonics and stories. The more ridiculous, the better. Each of these rooms is designed to contain the most essential animals in each category. Within each room, however, is a door. That's because this is the first in a whole series of memory palaces for French vocabulary related to animals, and this one is designed to serve as a kind of table of contents. Each door will lead to another memory palace with more specific vocabulary for each category. In other words, the door within this mammal's room will lead to a larger memory palace just for learning mammals in French, everything from aardvark to zebra. That's why in addition to the rooms themselves, there are extra doors around the perimeter of the space to lead into memory palaces for learning the names of dinosaurs, verbs related to animals, animal idioms, and mythical creatures. Combined, these memory palaces will cover all animal names in French up to a professional level. This memory palace is available in MonksVR's store. MonksVR is linguisticator software for building memory palaces in 3D and virtual reality. Please see the description below for more information. To learn more about memory palaces and how to build them for different subjects, please check out Linguisticator's online course in memory. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more memory palaces for languages and other subjects.